Hi! Zedgitory Conversion, Map 7, Surgical Strike. Remember that this is created by Razor Claw X, so that's who you can direct your hate mail to. Zedgi Command Ship Artesia, holding high orbit over planet Asteria, Zedgi Border World. We've analyzed the data gathered from the alien computers. Although their operating systems are foreign, they are basic in nature. These beings call themselves the Mechani, and they, like ourselves, are seeking to expand their sphere of influence. However, they originate from outside our own galaxy. What a way to exposit this information, Atlas. Way to go, Atlas. More like assless. It appears these Mechani are powerful, are the robotic soldiers of a powerful galactic empire. The robots themselves are simple for machines of such an advanced race, and therefore it should be easy to exploit them. Our sensors have tracked the Mechani stronghold on this world. Their base is heavily fortified from outside attack, but they, like ourselves, are reliant on supply lines. I don't know, man. We just construct temples that seem oddly static. Commander, I recommend we disrupt this, the supply lines. According to the robo the data extracted from the robot's automated supply ships... Oh, there's just no comment there. Automated supply ships are scheduled to make drops at the compound at regular intervals. If we can cut off their line of support, we may encounter less resistance for, for when I devise a more permanent solution to our problem. Our resources are limited, so use them well, and destroy as many supply ships as possible. Okay. So, story here is not looking good. Um, what I really wanted, it, what I want out of any new coming, like newfound enemy faction that's going to be an antagonist towards us is an actual antagonist. And they should be sort of, you know, pontif we, we should pontificate on their reasonings and what their logic is uh, in general. When, um, like based on what they say to us, right? They shouldn't exposit their own information just like we shouldn't get that information exposited to us by a robot. It just seems really pointless. Also, the fact that Talos isn't here is kind of lame, because he's he had one line, I think, this entire campaign. And so it would be nice to have him have a little bit more characterization. Unfortunately, no such luck. Commander, these squids have, modified, have a modified cannon, so they will be able to output better damage. Use these shield batteries for a quick recharge. Do not allow the enemy to gather in strength, for the supply escorts will help each other if possible. Okay... So we have 12 squids. And Bane, the Black King. Okay. So it's a micro mission again? Well, that's definitely getting in, but... I guess we'll just wipe out the, uh, the turrets. What is the modified cannon? I think it's just boosted damage. Pretty sure that's it. Alright, so if we snipe away this craze, which is just, uh... I don't know if they do AoE or not. It doesn't look like it. Alright, bye. Ah, yes, these are the... Discount Gargoyles. Right, that's one down. I don't know how many we have to destroy. It just says destroy all of them. Well, one of them got through, so... I'm gonna go ahead and wipe out some more of these. Oh, wait. Actually, it's probably not the best of opportunities here. Because, uh... They have their one... Wrangling around here. Very strange that we have, like, this base of operations. But they don't give a shit about it? That seems a little odd. Ow. What a bunch of psychopaths. Bye. Hmm. It looks like they flocked to the secondary location, so we should be able to just wipe them out on the way. Those fucking hurt. Fuck. Well, Bane the Black King, your Plakton cannon will hopefully, uh... 
help us out pretty soon. I don't know. Why are you, why are you singing at me? That's what I want to know. I don't know, man. I don't think that the supply ships are putting up much of a resistance. Surely there should be some communication from them where they're like, hey, our supply ships are being attacked. No, they don't seem to give a shit. Pretty sure those units are the Valkyrie replacement. And by replacement, I mean clone. Oof. That opens up another avenue of uh, movement. This seems kind of pointless, this uh, bottom left area. I don't know what's up with that. So, the, pl the plan is obviously to aggro them. I'm gonna pull them out over here. All right, destroyed. Relatively okay there. And we're right next to the shield gen, so. I wonder if that was strategic by Razor Claw X. So we'll just re recharge. Okay. Looks like we're good. What do they got? Same units? I guess we'll just let them sick uh, all their shots on Bane. Or they'll just hit our other shit instead. Fine. Whatever. They don't really do that much damage. Either. Huh. Well, that's uh, six down now. All right, bottom right-hand corner. I mean, this is really simple. I I kind of was hoping that we would have, like, a base or something after resupply. Like, this mission could be way better if it was a macro mission. Could you imagine? Like, they, they would have some waves that they would send at you every now and then, and then you'd have to, like... It would be more like, uh, what's that mission? Uh, that eye for an eye mission or whatever? Uh, the one where you're fighting against... You're controlling Kerrigan with the Nidus Canals and, you know, all that shit. I don't know, man. That seems like a no-brainer to do that instead. I don't know, man. Right, more of these. They're not like they, they don't even get upgrades later on, obviously, because they don't have a base. It just seems really bizarre that they would they would move it this way. I don't know, man. You can also sort of game this by killing off the escorts and then um, killing off the missile turrets afterwards, or going back to like I, I can see where there's like some element of strategery that could be included but like we could we could leave and then go back to our i mean probably not from this angle but from a closer one we could leave and go recharge before it actually spawned in the next one i'll move some of our troops around or something all right so that's another squadron of turrets down there's only two over there because i killed one of them earlier that one's easy enough to isolate ah they've got tour guitars now oh they are attacking that's psychotic. This is unheard of. Big fat meanies hitting my shield batteries. Yeah. Ah. Stop hurting me. I just want to kill the supply ship. There we go. Bane will take all the hits. Right. <laughs> why are they, uh... I guess the Torgatar is an attack unit now, buddy. Bye. Oh, they didn't change the overlay either. Okay, well... Off we go. I don't know, man. This seems like such a straightforward mission. You really think that more effort would be put into it. I still have no idea how many times I have to do this. So this is something that happened a lot in the Flame Knives as well, is you'd be playing a mission, and you wouldn't have any conception of, like, how much work you actually had to do. This is um, Warcraft 3 style right here. Oh, I... Well done, Commander. The enemy supply line seems to be broken. Return to base. We have something interesting to show you. Like, how many of these missions are going to be 10 minutes? There's like six minutes of gameplay. Because I had like that little rant that I did at the beginning about the story and stuff. Let's find out. Seven and a half minutes of gameplay. 
I'm, I'm not buying it, man. There's got to be more work put into these missions. If you're an aspiring campaign developer or an active campaign developer, surely this is, like, pretty obvious to you, but... Come on. Seriously. Like, just imagine a better... Here's my mission pitch for an update to this mission. You completely... Uh, you, you you break down the, the starting missile turrets, right? Because it doesn't... I, it makes sense for the fortress, the central fortress, to be fortified. But I don't really like the missile turrets in the surrounding islands. And I don't like how much units we start with, right? So instead, make it so that you revert the, the damage buff to the squids. You make it so that squids are trainable. I assume they're trainable from the Stargate or something. You start us off with, like, a base and a couple of workers and maybe a starting Stargate instead of a starting gateway or something like that. I don't know. Uh, you figure out what you want to start us with, out with. You have a... Some sort of organic timer where you see them on the field building because those stru are structures. You build, you see the AI building those structures. They lift them off and start moving them after they escort them. Um, that you know, you do the same trigger stuff that you did before, preferably with them hugging it a little bit closer using hyper triggers or something. I don't know why they weren't. Um, so you you figure that out, and you, they actually build the structures. You you watch them build the structures, and you know you t task the player. Do you you know you you have to kill ten of them to be effective, and they can't get two of them in or something like that, or three of them in. There's like a, a small window of, of, of failure. And so you you say to the player, basically, at this point, um, do I spend all of my money setting up my economy, maybe expanding, getting defenses for the attacks that are going to come at me because these AI are not going to take me lightly? Or do I focus on trying to snipe as many of the stuff early on, and that will take pressure off me later on so I can economize later and not worry about like the heavier waves that are going to escort these stru these structures? Suddenly, there's way more engagement. You're playing the same game that the AI is to some degree. Uh, the, and the AI would actually set up those missile turrets, right? Because you can do that. You can designate exactly where you want the AI to build this, your structures now, thanks to iQuare's uh, base layout command. And so you would build a, a situation where the AI would actually, like, you, you still have the same premise. And actually, some of the AI's structures would still end up being the same way. Like, they would start setting up more missile turrets around the area. They would start guarding these er these um, areas in between. And you could neutralize that by maybe destroying some of their outer-lying production facilities that they would also set up later on into the game. And those would be the, the towns that would request the guards that would go into the specific locations that would make your life more difficult. I could really see that working out a lot better. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why nothing like that was even done here. Like, not even at any level of, at any level of the stuff that I'm, like, the first thoughts that are popping into my head here, none of these were taken. It's just the, the laziest way possible, I think, so. Not really, uh, not really my favorite mission, for sure. Certainly something that could be cool. It could be really interesting to, to see the characterization of the mechanic as a real threat instead of them doing nothing. No commentary, no dialogue, no response to you doing anything. They had one attack that was probably accidental. And, you know, this is just goofy, so. That's my rant.